Hey guys, Blue Friends here. Right, I'm trying to look at the camera, but the camera's there, and I'm looking there, so I do apologise about that. Right, um, right. In this video, I am going to show you all different types of compasses. There's only one compass I do not have in this in my collection, and that's a Southern Hemisphere compass. I cannot buy a Southern Hemisphere compass because I live in the Northern Hemisphere. But so yeah, there's some old ones, there's some new ones, and there's some that don't work because basically they're rubbish because they were too cheap. So yeah, please. Let me know what you think on this video because at the end of the day, it's something that's been on my head for a while and something I've been working on for a while. So, shall we begin? I think we should. Okay, give me a second, guys. I'll turn you around. Right, guys, as you can see, this is all my compasses, apart from this one here, because I did own this one, but I recently gave this one to Potato Red. So, yeah. As I said, they are in all Northern Hemisphere compasses. Yeah, and before we start, I will say. I will show you, I'll put my sleeve for my, that one there, what's the oldest one out of the lot, that way, because that's north, that direction is north, so this one here is a military style compass, this one here only cost me, two pounds something I think it was, if I remember rightly, so yeah, I don't know why it's not pointing north. But yeah. Something must have happened. This one must have been dropped by looks sounds by looks of things. So yeah, this is a military style one. This one here is as I said, it's a Chinese knockoff of a military style compass. It is the whole of the, the thing's plastic. It does have a moving bezel as you can see there. It's not a proper moving bezel. It only moves the thing. It nothing like that. So yeah. So that's not there. I to me this looks like a southern hemisphere compass because the way it's acting. So yeah. But that's that one there. That one there only cost forty pounds something. As I said, there are so many different styles. Yeah, you can get button compasses, if the camera focuses. <laughs> ah, this one here's got no water in it. This was not a li Unless you have a liquid filled one, if I grab that one, nope, if I grab that one, one, nope, that's not a liquid filled, that one there, so. If I grab that one there and that one there and put them together, they're the same style compass. The difference is this one here is liquid filled, this one here is not. As you can see, that one there is just a metal, a metal strip, strip at the back of it. Yeah, and that one there is a metal strip at the back with liquid, so it moves easier and it works better. But if you get a bubble like this one here, it's got a little bubble there. As you can see, if it focuses, sorry about that, just a, a tripod. Yeah, sometimes it could affect the performance of the compass. So, yeah, as you can see, if you put two compasses together, they do not, they won't work properly. Because then they interfere with each other. That's the reason why I don't want to leave 99% of these compasses out, I guess, at all times. So, yeah, there's them too. You can get them types as well. These types are cheap and cheerful. But you don't want to be careful because 99% of the time, these small ones, these ones was not in liquid and not accurate. So, yeah. As I said, there's one there as well. Up and there's a non-liquid one as well, but he does point north normally. But for some reason he's not. You can get one on your. So that's not focusing again. On your on a power cord bracelet. I've got to be careful because that's a little knife there. So yeah, you've got to be careful with these ones because this one here, as I said, this one here's got that. Knife there, plus, it's not a review of this product. I'm just saying, there's a ferro rod there. Yeah, so that will affect with the metal strip in that ferro rod. In, in the ferro rod, in that compass. I don't know if this one's a liquid, it don't look liquid filled over here. I think, I don't, I think this one is liquid filled. I'm not 100% sure because I don't really think like that. Same as games on this one, same type of style. As you can see, just differences. This one's a 
different type of fell rod. This one is a fell rod. This one is a bear grills. Um, what do you call it? Survival bracelet with a compass. But same again, you've got to be careful because of this metal thing here. I know it can come out. I haven't took it out because I don't want to. I, I don't wear these. I don't wear powerful bracelets. I don't. I can't wear them. I feel more comfortable, especially when the clip's stupidly too big. But if it focuses. I don't think it's going to focus now. Oh, come on. Focus. There we go. So if you have to, if you put the clip in, if you look at that north thing, normally that moves. But I know this is a bare grills one, so I don't know if it's going to move or not. But you can tell it's liquid filled because, again, there's another little bubble as you can see in that thing. So yeah, there's them ones. And then there's an old style one. This is not old, this is reasonably new. But this is in an old style. Yeah. I like this compass. I eat, I eat, I carry this one every single day. So yeah, it it's accurate as hell. It's the best thing. It it does. Yeah, it's got a moving, be moving bezel, and if you see that line there, that line there will tell you the bearing to use. It's an easy compass to understand. It's easy compass to get along with. So yeah, I, 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 as I said, I usually say this one every single day. As I said, this is only a northern hemisphere compass. So I said there's three different types. There's a northern hemisphere compass. There's a wild compass and there's a southern hemisphere compass if you live in the southern hem hemisphere compass personally i would recommend a wild compass more than a southern hemisphere compass as you can see there's me in the camp and the phone because i'm using the phone today so yeah that one there this one here i made myself i love it a bit it's an old watch thing from a nurse's watch or a doctor's watch and all i had was a compass like that and just a massive, humongous button compass. So I um, took it apart and I just stuck it in this. And it works fantastically well. And I love it. I keep that on my rucksack at all times. When I'm hiking. Or even when I'm not hiking. Even if on my black rucksack as you will know about. So yeah, there's that one there. I'm not going to put that one on the floor because I don't want to break him. But I'll put him on the sofa. Right, now we've got two other types of compasses. We've got this one here, and this comes from China. It's a good compass, don't get me wrong. But there's only one problem with this compass I find. If it focuses again. There we go. Yeah. Is that... Sometimes that... The, um... Magnetic needle... Because that is the only thing. This one's not magnetic. The needle's not magnetic. It's the actual pin. If I turn them upside down. See that little pin? It's not going to focus again, is he? Hang on. Try to get him to focus. There we go. See that little pin in there? That's the magnetic base. Hard to believe. The needle's not. It's just that pin so he's kind of sometimes he doesn't if I get too close to some parts of the tour and when I'm on Dartmoor he just doesn't work that well so yeah there's that one there and then there's this one here this here is an ex-military compass they don't issue these ones anymore I don't think in the British Army or the Navy or the Air Force I don't think they issue these anymore this was my stepdad he gave it to me after this one here failed to me on when I was on the moors when last time one time when I was on the moors. So yeah, it is rage as you can see it is radioactive. It's got that that strip there is radioactive. It's not not gonna kill you. And that in there is radioactive, as well as those two dots and that line on the north. Oh or the dog, what people call it. 
okay or the car whatever you want to call it because that's the car that's the doghouse or that's the shed whatever you want to call it is your choice but on this one here if i turn them over it's the same again now the sun's about now the sun's come out it's mucking up with the light that little needle at the pin there again is magnetic but it goes up and down a bit so yeah but these are northern hemisphere compasses they're not southern hemisphere compasses they're not for southern hemisphere i would not be able to use this in the southern hemisphere okay so that's that one there now the difference this compass is brand new i haven't used it yet as you can see it's another silver compass i do like this compass this compass here as you can see there's me there's the phone there's the tripod and if i move that way a bit as you can see there's dopey dog oh sorry about that right this is a wild compass and i can tell you that is because see that screw there that there will remove that line there to whatever degrees you are in the world the uk is 42 degrees from north yeah, so I don't know what, I don't any I don't know any other countries, but I know in the UK I'm 42 degrees from north, so that's the reason why that's there. As you can see, it's fantastic. I love it. Yeah, and the other best thing is, it's not radioactive, but that glows in the dark. That glows in the dark. Those two lines glow in the dark. That glows in the dark. That line up there glows in the dark. And the thing is, as well, if I turn them over, if I get him to focus again. There we go. There's a pin plus there's a ring. That's how you can tell. That's basically the magnetic pieces. The needle's not magnetic. It's, it might be a fluid base. It might be fluid. Um, fluid. It might be fluid in the housing. But that little dot, what you can see there, as well as the circle around the dot. Yeah, it's magnetic. The needle's not magnetic, nothing like that. So that's the difference between that type and that type. So, I just wanted to bring this video out. Hopefully this video wasn't too boring for you guys. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. I do apologise if it was. Please let me know if you liked it. Please let me know if you want to know more about this compass here. Because I will be showing more on this compass. And I will be showing more on this compass. Because this one here, as I said, is my oldest compass in my compass collection, I think. If I remember rightly, I think this compass is about over 40 years old, so it's quite old. So, yeah. So, tell me what you think. And um, we'll see you in the next one, guys, because in the next one, hopefully, I don't know what it would be, more likely be another budget gear video. Hopefully, because I can remember to do it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.